My beloved, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this post, and it's hot off the press. I just received this from on high. You know, I say to you all the time, all truths are half truth. And I say to you that everything I say to you can be overstood on a multitude of levels. And this is so true. Are you applying the principle? Are you applying it? And so, though you may have discerned your mythology, your visions that reside in your soul, knowledge of self is knowledge of God. As you read those higher glyphs that are within your being, within you, because you, beloved, are the temple of God. And only you can properly access your temple. The others are able to read and discern as the, the Spirit of God allows them to. Don't get caught up on my expression now. But ultimately, it is up to you, my beloved. My brothers and sisters, we are... And we have fallen. I am he that came down from heaven. We are the fallen of God. Let no one deceive you. The mere fact that we are locked into a physical form bears witness, testifies, certifies that we have fallen. Our true nature is that of uh, the turtle. As Bobby Hammond has said, our children, I concur with him. So you see that sign of that? That's Horace. You see, when, when, when Horace comes, all bow down. I said, Seth has some, win some battle, but ultimately Horace rises. And when Horace rises, his will shall be done. Now what we are experiencing right now, beloved, is the fall <clears throat> of heart. Change is a constant. Don't argue with me. Don't even form no stupid ass opinions. I said change is a constant. Now this is the time of the flux. This is the time of the fall of heart. What is the fall of man? Did not your Bible say that men love the creature more than the creator? And I, and I remember prior to the fall, <clears throat> our last act, prior to the fall, we was between the legs, amen. Stay with me. Don't, 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 uh, don't you dare change this channel. We were between the legs of Mother Moose. That heavenly temple. That's seductive. You know, I, I tried to tell you about your mother. She is a beautiful, she is a wonderful thing. She is to be honored and treated with great Respect. <clears throat> when we became pussy whipped, did you hear me? What is a pussy? Is it not an office? Is it not a thing? But it is a pussy God. Hell no. <clears throat> Therefore, the Bible says that. He would not give and share his glory with another. He is a jealous God. These scriptures were written, amen, to show you the significance of remaining and abiding in the Spirit. 
I did a post, I can't recall the name about attachments. You see, we are attached to that pussy. That salmon, when you see the fish, it goes back upstream, does it not? You see me coming, you see me standing upon the land and sea, and you see the salmon, don't you? That's me, beloved. On the walls of the temple, it is displayed of me to do thy will, O oh God. You see the salmon going back to the stream from whence they came. And you see us, my beloved, <clears throat> returning back unto the source from which we came, that pussy. That pussy is life, and that pussy is death. Am I right about it? Those of you who have truly discerned and experienced pussy in all its facets can bear witness to the truth of what I just stated. In that pussy, there's life and there's death. And in, all, in that photo, the Bible says, Jesus said that the angels neither marry or give it in marriage. Well, it turned out that they're not subject to the desires of the flesh. They're not pussy whipped. Everything I say to you. But I want to explain something to you in carnal, least common denominator terms, nigga, so you can get your fucking mind right. We are bound, my beloved, because we refuse to access the divine realm. We are fixated in the carnality of our mind, and therefore our DNA, others have spoke about it, is locked. Now when you unlock your mind, my beloved, you do change your re, your air, your I, and your T. You change, and I said that deliberately for a reason. <clears throat> there are two angels upon this earth and I might mispronounce one of them's name. Check out the, the channels that I subscribe to. There's two two women in particular, and they and they don't even have it all yet. But but they're there. They're getting out. You see, I'm waking up with you, and I'm talking about free captives. I'm talking about Umi. Listen to Umi. And the other one is Cometria. Cometria. Look at my channels now that I subscribe to. Find these two sisters and listen to them. They are on the path. They have yet to get there. And I'm not, I'm not going to give you this information. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you. If you're spiritual, you'll put it together. <clears throat> Everything the ancient Egyptians did was a sign. Everything was in accordance to the divine will. Every physical manifestation was in accordance with the divine, the spirit of God. Now, if you want to be free, overcome this world. Overcome that pussy. Now, as far-fetched as what I'm saying to you and, 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 and perhaps offensive to you, if you ignore what I'm saying to you, I'm just going to make it plain, you're a damn fool. 